the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 254, Ezekiel 36 to 37, the vision of the dry bone. God promised to Israel, who was in despair and lifeless like dry bones, that He would give them the strength of life and restore them. First point, the reason why North Israel and South Judah fell in the hands of Assyria and Babylon respectively was because they did not keep the bilateral covenant with God. God declared judgment on the surrounding countries of North Israel and South Judah, who were pleased when they fell. God revealed that their punishment was not due to Israel's limited abilities, but because of God's anger and jealousy. God continued to speak of South Judah's punishment and their restoration, which was to follow. God spoke of South Judah after the 70 years of captivity and how a kingdom of priests would be restored. This was recorded in Jeremiah. This whole country will become a desolate wasteland, and these nations will serve the king of Babylon 70 years. But when the 70 years are fulfilled, I will punish the king of Babylon and his nation, the land of the Babylonians, for their guilt, declares the Lord, and will make it desolate forever. Next, we come to the records of Ezra. Now, these are the people of the province who came up from the captivity of the exiles whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had taken captive to Babylon. They returned to Jerusalem and Judah each to their own town, in company with Jerubbabel, Joshua, Nehemiah, Sereah, Lilaya, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpah, Phi, Lehum, and Bana. God then included the reason for North Israel and South Judah's punishment. God clearly declared that the reason for their fall was because they did not keep their side of the bilateral covenant. Second point. God hoped for the day Israel would be restored to him. God told Ezekiel about his new covenant. God put this into context with the laws of a kingdom of priests. The reason Israel was able to be restored was not because of their righteousness, but because of God's holy name. Israel sinned against God, and they did not have anything they could use to make themselves righteous. However, God had given them His holy name and put out His hand to restore them. As such, God forgives the people with His love and mercy. Israel would be purified, live in abundance, and live away from evil after their repentance. Third point, just as God breathed life into Adam's nose, God was to breathe life into the dry bones and make them into an army. God showed Ezekiel the vision of the dry bones. God showed how he breathed life into the dry bones. God told Ezekiel to command the dry bones, and it suddenly came to life and formed an army. The dry bones symbolized Israel, and God's breath of life showed how God wished to save them. This was like when God breathed life into the first man Adam. Likewise, he wished to breathe life into Israel. The dry bones referred to here were the captives of South Judah who were taken to Babylon. God said that they would be able to come out from their tombs and return to Jerusalem. At the time, the people of South Judah in Babylon lost hope after hearing about the fall of Jerusalem. They no longer had a home to return to. The people who lost all hope were like the dry bones, Ezekiel saw during his vision. Ezekiel was able to see new hope amidst despair. Fourth point, God used the metaphor of the two sticks to
to symbolize the restoration of the kingdom of priests and the kingdom of God for the people of South Judah after they returned from Babylon captivity. God showed Ezekiel two sticks as a metaphor. God moreover interpreted what they meant. This showed how South Judah and North Israel would come together again as the twelve tribes of Israel and those who were taken to Assyria and Babylon would all be able to come back to the land of Israel to be restored as holy citizens in the kingdom of priests. This was God giving them the big picture of the coming of the Messiah. Fifth point, God joined his grace covenant with the new covenant to Ezekiel. Among the 66 books in the Bible, the special point about Ezekiel is that it records numerous symbols representing the covenant. First is the grace covenant. The second is the prophecy of the new covenant. The third is the restored covenant. In Ezekiel, we come across God's covenant of how our bodies will be the holy temple. Ezekiel persuaded the captives to accept these messages of God. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.